All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate it. Back at it with FSD beta version 11.3.3. And just for fun, I know it's not probably uh, uh, realistic, but we're going to go ahead and do our dual lane roundabout again to see if they've made any improvements in this quick iteration to address that. So I'll activate here, put it at 30 and we're off. So far, this build has been great. This might be the release candidate. This might be the one that needs to go wider uh, because it's so good. But let's just see if there's been any improvements to multi-lane roundabouts. And my theory uh, from the first set of roundabouts, 11.3.2, was just the fact that they've been iterating on this single stack and working on other things and haven't really gotten to roundabouts because it fails the roundabout the same way that it failed previously in other builds in the 10.69 build and older. So... I think that's the case, but just for fun, whatever updates they made for 11.3.3, I want to see if they've made a difference. And as usual, I want to start a little further away so I can get those indicators as to whether or not, um, you know, they've made any market changes there and how the car reacts leading up to that roundabout to give me that indicator. Traffic starting to pick up a little bit this morning. Nice smooth turn. Way to get around this car with ample time. Great job. Um, traffic's a little bit dense this morning. Not terrible, not as bad as it was the last go round, but I'll be on the ready just in case. Now I had a hard time deciding what lane it needed to be in right here. They both go straight and it seems like it's doing the same thing where it kind of wants to go this way and then it's deciding against it. However, it seems to be doing a little bit more composed as you see the path planner dancing around, deciding which way. And it kind of it trying to think with its blinker, like turn the blinker on, turn the blinker off. Should it be in this lane? Should it not be in this lane? And that's what it's sort of calculating right here. And let's just hope it commits. There's the commit. Looks good. Stay in this lane, please. Um, I'm going to force the lane change because there is a massive pothole that I disengaged for last time. This is not quite it, but I'm going to change the lane nonetheless, even though it wants to stay here. It actually avoided the pothole there. Good job. All right, here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. See, the lane lines are faint, but they're there. Okay. Turn signals galore. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Hesitant. Hesitant, go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Go, 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 go. No accelerator press. Just let it go. Okay. Okay, better. Okay, better. Better, 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 better. I'm going to jump in here real quick. Okay, so it did it. Was not the greatest, but significantly better than before significantly better than before and made it in a way that it didn't make it the last time. Okay. Now we're going to go around again to a different route and I'm going to just edit this trip. I'm going to take away this one. I'm going to jump on this one and done. And now we're going to go back around again. Here we go. Here we go. Good job. Whatever improvements they made, that might be it, or it might be what I talked about before, which is the variance in this particular build, the 11.3 build, meaning it doesn't do the same thing every time for every scenario that it encounters. With more variance, it approaches and attacks uh, scenarios differently. Oh, front, crunched. Should have avoided that. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Sacrifice that front, uh, <laughs> front bumper for you guys. Coming in hot. But staying in the right lane this time. Let's see what happens. Cars are coming. Slow, 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 slow. Let car go and then go. And then go. Go, 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 go. Okay, here we go. Fast, very fast. Whoa, too fast. Too fast. Whoa, too fast. Okay. Redemption for real. Redemption, Tesla. Excellent job. Excellent job taking a situation that you previously could not handle well and now handling it to some degree, to some level of efficacy. 
Not perfect, not the best, but you did it. So good job, Tesla, on that one. Let me know what you guys thought about this roundabout. It actually did it, got by it twice, and I went a different route just to make sure it goes further along. Um, but it has a hard time struggling when the lane lines are not there. It's supposed to be multi-lane and doesn't know where it needs to be, which lane it needs to be. And I think if lane lines were painted there, that would have made it a little bit better. Um, but let me know what you thought in the comments about this particular drive. Did it do better than last time? Have you gotten a similar situation where Tesla has been able to uh, take the roundabout successfully in your particular area? Let's talk about it in the comments. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.